Woe is a word that we use to stop a horse. It's also a word the Bible uses to pronounce judgment. In Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20, the prophet pronounces the judgment of God upon a group of people. Here's what they were doing. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The people of Isaiah's day were taking what God said was good and turning it upside down. They were saying, no, no, that's evil. And the things that God's word said were evil, they were saying, that is good. And the prophet pronounces a woe upon them, a judgment upon them. You see, there's, there's two kingdoms in this world. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. Jesus went about, he went about his life, he went about his ministry doing good. And the Bible also tells us in 1 John 3, 12, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, who slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him, because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. You see, there is a difference between good and evil. The Lord Jesus Christ, he is good. Cain, he was evil. The Lord Jesus Christ was of God. He was of the Father. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost. He was of the kingdom of goodness. Cain, he was of the wicked one, the Bible tells us. And so we need to be able to tell the difference between these two. The prophet Isaiah used two more metaphors to expound on this. He said that there was light and darkness and there was sweet and bitter. These are just more ways of, of illustrating the difference between good and evil. Good is light, is sweet. That's the kingdom of Jesus. Evil is darkness and it's bitter. That's the kingdom of Satan. And so in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 5, it says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. And so you see, Jesus went about doing good. God is light. There's no darkness in him. And so as we learn the difference between good and evil, that is something that we must learn. We must learn it. Hebrews tells us in chapter 5 <clears throat> and verse 14, it says there, but strong meat belong to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So just like a child, uh, as they grow, you have to set them straight and tell them, now this is a good thing for you to do. You need to learn your manners. You need to uh, use your fork and your knife as you eat. You need to say yes, sir, and no, ma'am. And, and you need to you know, correct them whenever they do something. You say, no, 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 that's bad. You don't do that. That's naughty, right? Well, and then as they grow, you just continue to build upon that. And as they grow older and mature, they learn the difference between good and evil. Well, that's exactly what Hebrews is telling us. So as we study the word of God, we learn the difference. What are we supposed to be like when it comes to this? Well, the Bible's pretty clear. Amos chapter 5 and verse 15 says, Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Hate the evil and love the good. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And Ephesians 2.10 says, We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Does God want us to be able to tell the difference between good and evil? You better believe it. Does our world know the difference between good and evil? Well, if they do, they're turning it upside down on their head many times. We see it uh, as we see justice perverted. We see it in the media many times as they try to, to, to take something that God's word says is good and portray it as being evil, and at the same time take something that God's word said is, is strictly evil and to portray it as good. And we need to understand the difference. And we don't want to get caught up in that. I just want to encourage you today. Let's walk in the light because he's in the light. Let's do good and let's do it uh, for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.